They gon' sell you anything. Ultra Park. Right now, sound. Sound, sound. Let me know. Hey you guys, our first meal is room service because we're tired and don't feel like doing anything else. This is a Caesar salad. I'm not sure what this is. Yeah, I really don't know what this is, but it's a lobster Caesar salad. Looks so good. And my boyfriend, y'all know, he's got a little cheeseburger. But we're about to eat this and probably take a nap, you guys. We're tired. It's been a long day. Hello, you guys. Y'all know how first day of travel is. Um, Y'all seen we ordered that room service. And then we took a little nap, chilled. I just uploaded um, the last vlog, vlog 17. I just finally got that uploaded for you guys. So that is finally live now. But now we are going out for our first dinner reservation. Um, Taboo is here at this resort. So... Um, we're just going to Taboo for dinner. Um, yeah. And then honestly, guys, we'll probably bring it back to the room. As y'all seen, we have a hot tub outside. So I feel like we might get in there, you know, just vibe out for the rest of the night. This is my outfit, you guys. This dress is Eden Shop. Um, my Bottega bag. These gold little earrings that I ordered off Amazon. Chloe sandals. Let's get some dinner. Y'all, how cute. I mean, not really cute because it's clashing with the outfits, but this is the room key, you guys. This vlog is all about me. He really wants it to be all about him, too. That's the crazy part. Ultra Park.
Y'all, I just feel like if you have coffee, complimentary coffee in your room, I feel like they should stock the mini fridge with milk. I could have made me a real latte or something. But they do have, I showed y'all, I put the creamer in this. It's like creamer, I guess. And then I put, these are not labeled, so I really don't even know what this is. I assume this is just like sugar or splendor or whatever but i put one of these in and then i just opened this one and it's brown sugar so i wish i would have known that i would have just done two of these but let's see what it tastes like mm. it totally needs milk y'all Right, you guys so as you can see we kind of just woke up got in the hot tub and like just kind of lounged around our nice little patio out here um, and now we're getting ready to go to so hard to explain okay so I'm gonna give all the details but basically when we landed um, there's like this counter where you book your taxi your transportation to your resort or wherever you're staying um, and at the same time, he was able to book our excursions for us. And basically, you know, he was giving us information about this new ho this new Mexican hotel um, that is built. And basically gave us a pitch like, if you come do this brunch tour of this hotel, we'll give you um, a discount off of your excursions. He was just a really, really nice man. Um, so we were like, okay, cool, like, why not? So that's what we're about to do right now. They're about to pick us up in a cab. We're gonna go to the Mexican hotel and we're gonna have brunch, do a tour of the hotel. He said it only takes like, a, like 90 minutes. So, um, so yeah, I feel like we're gonna do that. And then I feel like we're gonna come back and just chill at the pool area and stuff like that. Um, hopefully the food is good because we're hungry. It's 11 o'clock and we haven't eaten anything all morning because we were trying to save ourselves for this brunch so yeah that's the kind of day we're doing today um tomorrow's my actual birthday so tomorrow will be like all the real excursions we have a really nice dinner reservation tonight and tomorrow night so i'm looking forward to that um but yeah you guys i'm just loving it honestly it's really really nice i love this patio thing we got in the hot tub this morning um it kind of just laid out like look i literally laid right here and tanned for like an hour we got in the hot tub which we need to turn on but like look how nice the view is you guys like seriously everyone's having a blast there's like jet skis little boats and stuff like that a cruise ship out there you really can rent um, a lot of this stuff and do like jet skis i think we're gonna do jet skis on our last day but it's just a vibe you guys i'm really liking this hotel because as nice as it is my job <laughs> This is our, this is our little balcony, and this is the the rest of the hotel, like the pool area, lounge area, stuff like that. And the bar is over there. The restaurants are over there. There's like four restaurants on this resort, but it's just chill, y'all. It really is just super chill, and that is just so my vibe. Um, I was a little bit not worried. I didn't really care, but a lot of the reviews and stuff and the TikToks about this resort was saying like too much party, too much loud music for me. Da 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 da. da. But clearly, it was a bunch of grandmas staying here because I, when I tell y'all, like, it's the perfect vibe. I feel like probably during the summertime or like spring break time of the year, it's probably loud and lit and just like excessive. But right now, this time of year, I feel like this is a vibe. This is my type of vibe for sure. So yeah, y'all, we're gonna go catch this cab and we'll see y'all at the Mexican hotel. Guys, we have to walk all the way out to meet this guy, this man, what's his name? Angel, 
something like that? Carlos. Carlos. <laughs> Carlos is his name. We meeting him out here, but this is like the entrance to our resort. Super nice, guys. A little far of a walk, but I'm enjoying the scenery. It's really nice. I feel like it's restaurants and stuff out here. I feel like we're in a highly, um, like, touristy area of Cabo. So I feel like a lot of the resorts are right here all together. Cute. registration stuff which is weird I don't know but now we're about to take we're about to have breakfast brunch and then take a tour of the hotel it's really really nice you guys very nice actually I would recommend just based off what I see so far and we haven't seen much but it's really really nice um, what do you think of the hotel I'm hungry as fuck and I want to eat I don't give a fuck about this hotel. Such great energy, right guys? I'm hungry too. But I'm being positive. Which clearly some people do not know how to do. Positivity and prosperity. Yeah, exactly. Cause you sure said that in the last one. Talking about peace and prosperity. Now you wanna get here and be negative, Nancy? Oh my gosh. That's crazy. No, we pay for that food, all right? Yeah, I don't think it's all inclusive. Yeah, it's not. Because they have, um... So what do you think of that, guys? Would you like to stay in the place like that? Let's go through, like, 100,000 before you're not going to buy it. <laughs> like, 190. All right, y'all, we're back from the thing. Yeah. I showed y'all like the little tour we were on and the food that we ate. But you know, basically, yeah, they were just trying to make us buy a timeshare. And we're not getting a timeshare at this point in our lives. Um, so that was pretty annoying. It actually kind of ruined our time because like they damn near was forcing us to eat a damn timeshare. Like about to really sell their soul to make us get a timeshare. But we got out of there. We have dinner reservations at our bowl at six. So that's in like three hours um, so right now we're just chilling we'll probably go sit by the pool get some drinks or something like that i just found this caramel popcorn in our little mini bar you guys they have these like snacks in here y'all know but it's like a can personal concierge she prepared this for me in our room while we were gone how cute is that so nice 
She is really awesome. I'm loving the hospitality at this resort. Okay guys, this morning we have a proper latte. I found this yesterday at one of the shops. So yeah, I just added a little brown sugar, two packs of brown sugar actually, the espresso shot and this. So good morning you guys. It's my actual birthday today so I'm super excited. The sun is like blinding me y'all. Literally can't see. Okay, it is nine o'clock in the morning. Um, where we have breakfast reservations at the restaurant. I already, I think I told y'all when I was making my coffee. So we're about to go to breakfast, and then we're doing excursions today. We're doing horseback riding and ATVs. So yeah, it's gonna be a fun day. I know it's been like really restauranty <laughs> and chill vibes, but y'all, honestly, that's really how I like to vacation. I really like to chill and just enjoy my stay enjoy this beautiful room like we have been chilling chilling and eating real good as y'all can see um the restaurant last night was a 10 out of 10 highly recommend i don't know if i said it last night but probably the most beautiful restaurant i have ever seen in my life um the food was great it's a little pricey but it's worth it i really do think it's worth it um but yeah so now we're doing a whole bunch of fun stuff today so, oh, I want to do that. I don't know if y'all can see. Hold on, look. Y'all probably will not be able to see, but they have like, it's not even a surf, a surfboard, but it's like some sort of contraption that they're on. I'm talking about I want to do that. I could not do that. <laughs> My ass be in the water. But yeah, so this is this morning's view. Super beautiful, super nice outside. I think it's like 70 degrees, which is perfect. Not too hot, not too cool, not too windy. So yeah, we are going to breakfast now and we'll catch up with you guys in a few.
Hey guys, we are back from the, um, the excursions, the horseback riding in the ATVs. Super fun, y'all. Super fun. Um, yeah, it was really nice. That was my second time riding horses. Um, it was really fun. It was really smooth, really simple. Cactus tours, you guys. Cactus tours. We booked that at the airport. I'm going to go ahead and answer these questions because I know like these be the main questions that y'all ask on these travel vlogs. So basically, when we landed, as soon as we landed, we got our bags, went through customs and everything like that. And then there's like, when you go to get a taxi or any type of whatever type of transportation that you want to take to your destination your hotel your resort whatever um it's like these little boots set up there's like several different boots and the guy literally like um booked our taxi to bring us to this resort and at the same time he was like are you guys doing any excursions while y'all are here and we were like yeah we haven't really booked anything da, da, da. he was like i can do it all for you right now basically so you know quick simple easy convenient so basically he booked us for um both of the excursions that we did today it's the same company who does all the excursions so it was really convenient that he set that up for us at the airport i will say though we got scammed into doing that tour yesterday which was really he made it seem like oh it's a tour of this new mexican hotel just go there um just go there check it out do some marketing you know get people to come stay here with us next time Meanwhile, we went there, did a tour, and they were basically forcing us to get a timeshare, which, like, we don't want a timeshare right now. Like, so that was kind of a waste of our time. But just don't do anything. Book your excursions, book your transportation, and go to your resort, basically, if you come here. Um, and I also will say that you, most resorts, you can book your excursions at the resort. Like, we got here and realized they have a whole... Um, desk in the lobby where you can book your excursions as well so don't freak out about not having it done before you fly here because we didn't either we really didn't know how we were going to set it up but you know you can do it at the airport just don't let them finesse you into doing anything else and then you can do it nine times out of ten you can do it at your resort as well um so that's how we booked it we just gave him the money at the airport and basically once we went to the little presentation yesterday they gave us a voucher because they took off money for the excursion. They gave us a discount on the excursions for going to the presentation yesterday. But like I said, I would highly recommend skipping that part and just pay for your excursions. Um, they should give you a voucher. The van literally picked us up at our resort out in the front and took us there. It took about 20 minute ride to get to the excursion destination. Um, the excursion took about two and a half hours in total. So it only took us about three hours of our day. And yeah, it was really fun, really simple. Highly recommend you come out here. Um, but yeah, now we're back and we are just chilling right now. That Those excursions kind of took a lot out of us. Like, um, it was a lot. So I think we're just gonna chill. We have dinner reservations at, L for a loan, I believe that's what it's called. Uh, but they're not until 9.45, so honestly, we may, I'm hungry, all right. I'm hungry still. We ate a little burrito at the thing, but I'm like hungry, I don't know what it is. So we might get a little snack, maybe order something to the room, and then we have dinner reservations at 9.45. Um, but yeah, we're about to get in the hot tub. Just relax for a bit, you guys. So yeah. This is where I order room service, y'all. Little nachos. All right, you guys, we are rejuvenated a little bit. We took a little rest and relaxation time, took showers, and just kind of chilled out for a little bit. So now we're going to dinner. Our dinner reservation actually changed. We were supposed to be going to this really beautiful restaurant called El 
for a loan for a loan something like that um but we booked the reservation like a few weeks ago just so we would have everything reserved by the time we got out here and then i just now like looked at the menu and it just wasn't giving anything that we wanted tonight so we changed the reservation to funky geisha it's actually attached to the resort so we're just about to walk on over there it's like sushi seafood type of vibe so hopefully it's good i think it will be the pictures look really good um tonight i am just butting it as you can see i have on this like button up that i got actually a few years ago one of the outfits that i ordered the top didn't really go right so i pulled this top out to go with these green like shorts we're carrying this bag and then the dior um slides see y'all when we get to the restaurant y'all my favorite part well one of my favorite parts of this whole trip is that our room is literally right here and we literally just walk right out to all the festivities love that for us that's taboo where we um ate the first night i didn't vlog much of it because it's so dark in there you can't even see it can't even see yourself from there but the other restaurant is down here where we're going now duper cute um there's literally no one in here y'all know like i think i told y'all this earlier but like i said the restaurant is attached to the resort and this resort i feel like this time of year is very very like chill as far as traveling because i feel like nobody's here and that's like so my vibe i'm not trying to be lit around a whole bunch of people you know what I mean? So, nobody's really here. I love that for us. But, however, as you can see, we're sitting literally right on the beach. Literally, that's the beach back here. And a creepy man just popped up right there, stuck his hand through the grass, and asked us if we wanna do excursions through him. Like, oh my God, don't scare me like that ever. Um, but yeah, I ordered um, the vegetable spring rolls and um, I forgot what my sushi was called, but I ordered sushi. He ordered teriyaki chicken skewers and miso soup. So yeah. No, that scared the shit out of me. I just told him how he scared me. And he better not come back. One thing about these people out here, they are on their grind, okay? They gonna sell you anything. They gonna sell you anything. They walk up and down the beach all day with hats, straw bags, keychains, bracelets, uh, wind chimes, dresses, like just trying to sell you whatever they can sell you. I know that's right. They hustling out here. Oh, yeah, y'all. We're here. We basically have the restaurant to ourselves. We are one of three tables here right now. Okay. Enough of that because I feel like they might be copyrighted for this music. I hope not. Do you think this is like mixes? I hope so. I'm going to be pissed. All right. See y'all later.
Okie dokie, lovely people. It is our last night. Sadly, we are going to Mama Zita for dinner. We ate there for breakfast yesterday, but it's the only restaurant on the resort that we have not had dinner at yet. So we're gonna go there for dinner. Actually ended up being free dinner because we have a TV on our little porch situation and the TV was broke. So we asked like, can we get a TV fixed? And they was like, oh no, like, you know, they came, they tried to fix it or whatever, couldn't fix it. So they really offered us a different room, but it's like, it's not that deep. It's not that deep, it's not that deep at all. So um, our little host, personal concierge, I don't know what we're calling her, but she, um, for the inconvenience, she was like, let me guys get you a complimentary dinner. So we're having complimentary dinner tonight at Mama Zita. So that's what we're doing for our last night. Tonight's outfit is like real. This was a backup outfit. Um, but I'm not wearing a dress. The dress was the last planned outfit that I um, brought and it's just, guys, I don't know who I was even kidding. I was supposed to wear it last night for my birthday, but like, no. I don't know why I even lied to myself like I was finna wear a dress. Um, yeah, so I just have on this like button up. I got this button up from Urban Outfitters like three years ago, never put it on. I literally just took the tag off when I put it on. Just, you know, slouchy, beachy type of vibes in these jeans, fitty bag, um, and my Louis sandals. And I'm gonna go Fendi, Fendi, Fendi. You feel me? Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Louis on the shoes, something like that. I have Louis on the shoes too. That's Fendi. cute. Fendi bag. We're going together a little bit. Um, so yeah, y'all. That's that. I think we're gonna try and make the most of our night. So we might do hot tub when we get back, but we'll see. We'll see what kind of vibe we're feeling. I'm actually like feeling okay. For the last few nights, like it's kind of just been like, we've been extremely tired after we get back from dinner. But you know, we took a little nap. We got up really early this morning and did the pool and stuff like that. When y'all seen us at the pool this morning, that was like at 9 a.m., 10 a.m. We walked the beach and we came in, got in the hot tub, had drinks. We ordered room service again, which I didn't show y'all, but we just ordered a little bit of room service because we were hungry. We ate at like eight o'clock this morning, then went out to the pool, walked the beach, came back. We was hungry again, got in the hot tub, ate our little lunchy, and then we, we got in the shower and we took like a two, three hour nap. And that was dinner time. So let's go. We're four minutes late. See you guys in a sec walking you guys right up the little hill to our last dinner of the trip so sad we've had some pretty good food i'll speak for myself because y'all know my boyfriend don't eat shit but i had some pretty good food look how pretty the pool is at night i love that I don't need cash on you, dick. Oh, Chip Walker. Oh, yeah. That one is very spicy. It's an avocado. Oh, yeah. That one's my favorite. My brother. So this is like the complimentary uh, appetizer yeah, I that they've given us. Yes, sir. They've done that at every restaurant, which is really cute and cool. It was something yeah, different at each restaurant. Yeah, I already sent them the stems, so this I can just like, forward you the stems that I sent them right now. Got a big thing, okay, like a big pork bun. It's just to break it off and dip it in the sauce. But she also bought us some um, corn chips. Try four different sauces. I tried the orange one first. I don't know if you can see. Oh. 
but this one is really spicy. Little, a little too spicy. And then they have, y'all, this blanket is making my shirt look crazy. Um, this one, it's like avocado. It's really good.